Hello again, my brothers and sisters, my fellow Malaysians. Once again, we do not have a Prime Minister. And once again, I offer myself to be Malaysia's next Prime Minister. Now, as I said before, when I ran for Gomba in GE15, that I believe that Malaysia should stagnate because progress and improvement in Malaysia is already impossible. And I wish we stagnated before G15 because now Malaysia is in worse condition. And therefore, I offer myself once again to be your next Prime Minister. One of Malaysia's biggest problems is corruption. And I can boldly say that I've given up on fighting corruption. Most of my potential allies in the government I will form are most likely going to be corrupt. So I'm going to adopt the same stance my parents had when they were worried I will be indulging in premarital sex as a teenager, which is this. If you want to do corruption, just do it safely, okay? Don't go overboard. Remember that you have a family that loves you. Uh, wear a condom when you do your corruption things and make sure it's consensual. And please make sure I don't find out about it lah, because it's going to get really awkward. If you, if you must be corrupt, just make sure I don't know lah. Just, I, I do lah. I give up lah, okay? Just turn off the lights when you're done lah, okay? Now, of course, you'll be asking who will be in my cabinet. I don't have the full list yet, but I have some ideas on who I will appoint into certain portfolios. For instance, for Minister of Finance, I will appoint my mother. My mother is very prudent with money. She is so prudent that she made sure to take our ang pao money as children and make sure that she puts the money away for investments. Uh, after 30 years of taking our ang pao's away, we still have not seen the ang pao money, which means we have not wasted the ang pao money. That is a very good mother and a very good Minister of Finance. For Minister of Health, I will appoint my wife, Dr. Komela N. She is a brilliant anesthetist and a very good healer. This is how good she is at medicine. Once I was down with the flu, influenza, headache, fever, sore throat, body aches, nauseous, vomiting. And I complained to my wife, darling, I feel really ill. I cannot walk. I cannot talk. I cannot eat. Please help me. And then she said, stop being a baby and stop whining. And immediately I felt better. She yelled out the virus from my body. That's how good she is at medicine. I will offer the portfolio of Minister of Foreign Affairs to my Auntie Susan because Auntie Susan is always interested in other people's affairs. In fact, I am very sure that she can bring all other nations together on the same page because thanks to Auntie Susan, everyone knows about everyone else's affairs. For Minister of Multimedia and Communications, I will appoint my Uncle John. Uncle John is 65 years old, retired, and lives on his own. But he's very good in multimedia because he can compress a 10-minute video on why the COVID-19 pandemic was a conspiracy by the Jews to control the world into just 15 megabytes, just nicely under the WhatsApp file size limit. And he's very good in communications because my Uncle John frequently sends out news into his 100 WhatsApp group chats. He sends out the news so fast that you don't even have time to verify if the news is fake or not. You know how in your WhatsApp groups, your aunts and uncles are forwarding information from their own sources? All this information originates from my Uncle John. But my fellow Malaysians, here is the real reason why I'm making this video. The real reason I'm making this video is because the idea and concept of Malaysia is different for different people. Malaysians. For me, Malaysia is a continuing experiment, a work in progress, an ever-evolving story. And for me, I want to continue the work, the experiment, the story that is Malaysia. But I fear that if the wrong person becomes Prime Minister of Malaysia, then Malaysia will be finished. Thank you.